Hey folks, in a previous video, I showed you how to go into Fusion and create an animated title. Well, in this video, we're gonna take that animated title and turn it into a title template so that we can use it within Resolve. It's actually very simple. Uh, it's gonna look a little complicated in one spot, but don't worry about it. It's, we're gonna start off with a very simple one, and then in another video, we'll maybe do something a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead and get started. We're in Resolve, or we're in Resolve, but we're in Fusion here, and let's take a look at our title. So we just have that implosion, and then the explosion, and it fades in and out. Very simple. So what we need to do is to create a macro, store it in the right place, and that's it. So back to Fusion here. So what you wanna do is select whatever nodes are part of your title without the media out. We're not gonna be using the media out. So we're just gonna, right now I just have the text, I could have lighting, I could have particle effects, I could have all, all kinds of stuff, but right now we just have the text. I'm gonna right click on it and go to macro, create macro. Okay, now we have all the different options that we want to use. So in this case, we have stylized text, font, style, um, red, green, blue, colors, size. We could have tracking, character sizing, all that good stuff, but we want to make this one just fairly simple for right now and not really change anything else. But you can see there's a ton of different options in here to change. Okay, so once we have the things selected, we can go close. Do we want to save it? Yes. Okay. Now, you have to select the right folder. And by default, it does not open up the correct folder. This is on a Mac. So what do we have to do? We need to go up a couple directories, DaVinci da Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit, Titles, and this is where we put it. So I'm gonna call this one Simple Text and we're gonna save it. So how do we know where to save it? Well, there is a document that you can get. Let me find it here. Documents.blackmagicdesign. It's called the DaVinci Resolve 15 New Features Guide.pdf. And that's where it will tell you how to do all this and where to save the files. So there are instructions in here, so just kind of follow them and you should be okay, but let's get back to it. Okay, so now we've saved that macro. That's not gonna do anything yet because DaVinci Resolve has to reload it. Well, the only way to reload it is to restart Resolve. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quit. I'm not gonna save it. And once it quits, I'm just going to relaunch it. And we'll create a new project in here, create a new project, and go to my media pool. Well, let me grab just some piece of footage somewhere. I can just do it from my power bin. So I'm just going to grab an image from my power bin, drop it in place, and go to my effects library, go to my titles, and if everything worked right, it's right there. Drag it in place, drop it on there, and look, it's working. Okay, so can we edit it? Click on it, go up to the inspector, and now we have opening title. We have the font, we have the style, and we can change the color. So very, very easy to create an animated title or a 3D title or anything that you want to do in Fusion, turn it into a macro, and then be able to use it as a title template. Super cool. And if you do a search right now on free DaVinci Resolve titles, you'll find a bunch of titles that people have created. Some of them are for sale, some of them are free, but you can create your own. If you have some style that you want to do, it's pretty simple to just make your own and save them. So again, don't be afraid of Fusion. It's not that intimidating once you know a couple basics 
and now you can create your own title templates. I hope this was helpful. This has been Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve. Don't forget to subscribe, click on that bell icon to be notified. Share this with anybody who you think would like DaVinci Resolve. I'm really trying to put out some good videos for everybody and I appreciate all the support I can get out there. So thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.